This episode of See Tally Run is brought to you by Luva, Grandma's Marathon, and M Tech Results. <laughs> Olympian Carrie Tullifson, and today I'm interviewing Sarah Hall. So let's get after it. All right, Sarah. So I want to talk running, but I can't help but get right into mommyhood. I mean, really, this is so exciting, and I think everyone is so excited about your running. But more importantly, you are a new mom of four beautiful girls. So talk about that. Yeah, it's been really fun. You know, um, deciding to adopt them was kind of just a leap of faith and just taking a plunge. Like it wasn't something I really felt like really strongly about or like just, you know, you didn't quite always have the emotions for it because it's, it's kind of hard to fathom what it's going to be like, especially having two teenagers and stuff. But, um, but I think it's just, it's really exceeded my expectations as far as how fun it would be and how easy of an adjustment so far it has been for everyone. And so I'm, yeah, I'm obviously really thankful we, we decided to do it and just kind of amazed it. God's hand in the whole process. And um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely a, a big life change, but a really fun one. <laughs> what, when, when you still hear the girls say mom, or, you know, you have a four-year-old, right? Is Lily four, five? five? Mm-hmm. I mean, she might even say mommy, like, are you still like, are they talking to me? <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit. Um, there's definitely surreal moments with it. And that took a little while to get used to. And, but, um, but I think like, yeah, now it's starting to feel more normal. The first time I was driving them to school in our, you know, suburban, I think it was like, it felt like I was playing the suburban mom in a sitcom or something. Like yeah. it didn't really feel like this was real, but, um, but now we're kind of in our groove and feels normal. <laughs> What's been the hardest adjustment? Um, I think just like wanting to always be active with them and do like fun, active things, but then for running, obviously, we're not looking to do a lot of activity outside of our training. So I, I don't find a lot of the other aspects of being a mom as tiring, like sometimes like doing homework and stuff like I'm like, Oh, this is not fun. But um, but it's more like I want them to like run or like, we want to do like go hiking or things like that. But that isn't really on the training regimen this, yes. this time of year. So um, I look forward to doing more of that maybe in the off season. What has been a something that's really fun for them that's now American, not Ethiopian. So do they have any good food that they like to eat? Or is there a new pastime that you guys have introduced to them that they've never done before? Yeah, it's really fun because everything is kind of a first for them right now. Like they, um, you know, they grew up in a pretty rural village and then we're in an orphanage where they were just confined to like, you know, like a house for three or four years. And so um, so now it's, it's really been fun to see like what their gifts are and their passions and, um, and just introduce them to a lot, a lot of new things, but food was definitely something that took a little bit for them to, uh, get used to because they were used to only eating a few things their whole life. And so just kind of the, the look of something new was like, ah, at right. first and kind of just getting over that barrier with them to like get them to try things. And then now that like, they're pretty, pretty good. They eat quite a bit of of our food and like it and stuff. So we actually cook a lot of Ethiopian food at home though, too. Um, so that's been fun to like, just learn to do that together. And, and I think it helps them from getting too homesick from their country. Yeah. So coming off an awesome marathon in Chicago, you ran 231, new PR, and you called it kind of your new debut. Yeah. <laughs> and then you were second at the dot us 12 K championships, which was, it was like three weeks after Chicago. Yeah. I think about, yeah, five weeks or somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah. No, you're right. I think more like I think three. it was three, yeah. And yeah. then now just raced yesterday on the track for the first time, kind of rust buster on the track. And then the next one is the the 2016 LA Marathon Trials. So how are you feeling going into that, and what are your expectations? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm really enjoying the training right now, which I think is the main thing. Um, when I just get in a good groove training, I feel like the races kind of follow. And so um, – you know, the biggest change, I guess, this buildup is I'm going to be spending probably the whole time at sea level when um, my last two buildups have been at altitude. And I feel like I put in a lot of time at altitude this year at pretty extreme altitudes in Ethiopia. And so this has been a really refreshing change to kind of be able to run a lot faster in workouts and um, and just 
more turn, just better turnover, even on my runs and things. So um, I'm excited to see how that translates uh, on race day. I might have time for maybe one half marathon or something before, but um, not sure yet. So yeah. What is your secret? Because I think everyone kind of wants to know. Like you have been doing so well the last few years. And you're racing all the time. It doesn't matter if it's a steeple, a mile, a, you know, a marathon, cross country. You're just, you're going and going for it, basically. What's the secret? How do you recover so fast? Yeah, well, you know, I just really love to compete. And so I think that's why, like, I'll just, like, hop in, even though it's, like, you know, a month after Chicago. I'm, like, I do, a, I do one workout back after, and I'm, like, oh, I'm re- I want to go race again. Like, I love racing. And so, like, I don't know if I'm in shape, but I'll just hop in the 12K and just, just see because, like, I love being out there. And um, and so, yeah, I think just not being afraid to fail. Like, when I've, I've been in this for a long time, and I've probably failed as many times as I've succeeded in this sport. And so I think I just am not afraid of it. And so I will I like to try new events and try, you know, to see where I'm at and um, sometimes surprise myself. So, yeah, you know, you are so tactically sound in Chicago. I mean, I saw your results from your Fitbit and, you know, I mean, just how even you were. And is that what your plan is for 2016, for the trials, excuse me, to see if you can run your race or are you going to kind of put it out there and and make sure you're close to that top three finish? I would say I'm probably going to be a little more aggressive at the trials as of now, but, um, I'm going to see how my training goes and Mm -hmm. uh, maybe make a plan based on that. Ryan's doing a good job kind of coaching me through everything. And he's the one I, you know, trust to, he knows the marathon better than anyone. So, so Ryan's coaching you now. Yeah. Well, Ryan is, is handling this buildup and he was pretty involved with my last two Mm buildups. So it's a easy transition. Um, but but yeah, he's kind of here on a day to day basis and that's been really good to also kind of, adjust things based on the kids schedule and stuff and build training as a family around that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Well, cool. Well, what, what is the main goal then for, for 2016 and beyond? I mean, obviously I think we all know you want to make that Olympic team and you have every right to, but what's after 2016? Yeah. You know, I haven't really thought too far past that. You know, I didn't think I would be running this long to be honest. Like I was like, Oh, I'll do it for a few years. And, and here we are 10 years later. So, <laughs> Um, yeah, definitely the Olympics is is the main goal. It's it's kind of the one thing I've yet to experience that I really wanted to. And um, but after that, we'll see. I mean, I definitely my family is going to always come first. Like investing in these girls is more important than anything else. But um, so far, it hasn't interfered too much with kind of my training. So hopefully, I can keep going. Yeah, if anything, <laughs> it's enhanced it. It seems like so. It's amazing. Well, okay, let's do our rapid fire. Okay. Let's do the hard stuff. You know, we can talk about adopting four girls from Ethiopia, but the rapid fire questions are the, really the hard questions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't think so, but okay. Trails or roads? Tra- trails. Sure. Trails. Okay. Now make, I'm, I think I'm saying this right, but Adi Zababa or Flagstaff? Oh, that's tough, but I'm going to have to say Flagstaff. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Muscle milk milkshakes or muscle milk pancakes? Oh, pancakes. Really? Down. And you like <laughs> Ryan's recipe rather than yours? Oh, yeah. He's the best. Okay. All right. California wine country or skiing in the California mountains? Wine country. Mm-hmm. All right. Playing. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can read this. Playing dress up with your girls. I don't know if you guys do that. Or playing board games. Dress up. We actually put on all my old homecoming dresses and went out to dinner one night. It was pretty fun. <laughs> That's awesome. And did Ryan go or was it just a girl's night out? Yeah, they made him wear a suit. And- oh, he didn't wear one of your dresses, did he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Movies in or dinner out? Uh, movies in. Okay. Ryan's sweet potato fries or in and outs French fries? Sweet potato fries. Okay. Steeple or marathon? Ooh, uh, right now marathon, I'd say. (laughs) Okay. Ryan with long hair or Ryan with short hair? How short are we talking? Like buzz short or like normal length short? (laughs) I'd say normal length short. Okay. I'm going to have to go that. 
Okay. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it called injera? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I've had that before. It's very good. But injera, which is Ethiopian flatbread mm-hmm. or flatbread pizza. Hmm. For my girl's sake, I'm going to go injera as long as it's 100% tough. Okay. <laughs> Do they help you make it? We're trying. It's hard. It's it's quite a multiple day fermentation process yeah, that we have yeah. not gotten what right yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last question. After the Olympic trials marathon, you'll have some time. So I want to know if you're going to run the Olympic trials 5k on the track or if you'll go back down even further and run the steeple. Well, or right will you now- run the 10k? <laughs> Anything would be fair game, but right now our main thing is after the trials, Disneyland. That's kind of the focus. Oh, <laughs> fun. Okay. And then we'll decide maybe at Disneyland. Yeah, because <laughs> if you make that marathon team, you don't even need to worry about track. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah. Well, thanks for having some fun with us, and congratulations <laughs> on any everything. I mean, 2015, 2016 is going to be an amazing year, regardless of what happens on the, on the roads or on the track. So... Thank you. We look forward to seeing little Tolly. Oh my (laughs) gosh. I can't wait for this one to come too. Mama's getting big, but it Uh, sure is fun. All right. We'll see you soon. Okay. Tell Ryan and the girls hi. All right. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for joining me for my interview with Sarah Hall. Get after it. If you like this video, subscribe to the See Tolly Run YouTube channel by clicking here. Or check out my favorite episodes by clicking here. And don't forget to get after it.